Now, the rams are down in the top of the garden paddock in there behind that gate. And normally I just tie a great gate across the wall, but it makes it difficult to get in and out. And as a farm development project to make it easier, um, I've now experimentally put this gate in here. Now I have to have the gap here so that the rams don't get too excited and crash through the gate or the lambs don't go in there and get beaten up by the rams. So this is an experimental thing to keep the lambs separate. And if I had yews in here grazing, the rams couldn't breed with them if they came in season out of the seasonal time that I want them to breed because I want to be ready for the yews to lamb and know who the sires are. So normally, I can put you down now. The lambs have all left. They've all gone further away. So normally, this wall here and this wall here, I had a gate that I made of wood and wire that would go across, but it was very difficult to climb out, uh, open the gate and climb over that apparatus. So I'm thinking of where this this buttress comes out of the wall here of just squaring it off and hanging that gate off of it across there. So doing a small bit of stonework building there and that would make it much easier. And then this gate could swing. At the moment, this gate is literally just tied in place. And when I open it, I have to lift it. So I have to lift it to move it like that. But if I made a mini um, gate hanger off that, like squared off that buttress, you can see how wide it is there. So literally square off that buttress there, hang the gate. Then I can open this gate, stand in here safely. The rams are that side or the yews are the lambs. And then the sheep that I don't want in contact are on this side. So there's that space with the gate here. And then I'd put a small bit of a wire fence or maybe one of these pallets uh, there to as the gate latch, the place to latch the gate. But that is an idea that I'm developing and thinking about. And a certain person is loving eating their apple. My dogs love apples, don't you? Look at her tail wagging. She loves her apples. Isn't that right? Chews it and then takes the nibbly bits. <laughs> and the puppy's got to learn about apples. He might like eating apples too. Now, I don't want you to... Are you gonna jump up on that? No. See, the scary part with him as a puppy is these palms to a puppy who's not initiated, or cat for that matter, all my cats and dogs are initiated in falling into palms because they think that's a green grass growth, and it's not. It's water. So they've all fallen in. So I always have to be very careful that I'm keeping an eye on the puppy when I'm in the vicinity of one of these ponds with the uh, duckweed on it. Look at that. She's really enjoying her apple. Oh, she's just spotted the rams. The rams are in this paddock. You can just see the lower body of one right there. Oh, there they both are. Hey boys, how are you boys? They say we're fine, leave us alone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I stopped filming. She leapt over into the pond to cool down. So we only got her going out. I wasn't quick enough to start the video. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Oh, and you smell of pond water. She's going to probably shake again. 
and while she was in there bear stole her apple <laughs> everything happened as soon as i turned off the video oh look at that bear's eating it <laughs> oh lord it always happens doesn't it when you've turned the video off something funny happens <laughs> So I've just finished doing the video and I'm coming through this gate, but I wanted to show you, see, these are all the lambs in here in the orchard and the gate's closed now. So I now have this area to open this gate to go in and check on the boys. And um, the other thing is that will happen is that gate will swing all the way out that way so that if I want sheep to be in both here and here, yeah, if I want you guys in both the paddock and the orchard at the same time, this gate would swing all the way round and tie up there. Like this one swings all the way round and I latch onto the wall over there. So it's the same sort of premise but it makes it so there's a safe area for myself and prevents the sheep getting across to each other if I want to keep them separate. And then I open the gate. Come on, pups. And close the gate. Whoops. And there we go. A safe, a safety paddock, as it were. And if I ever got cattle or Dexter cattle or something, that would also give me a safety place if I was doing something with calves in there and the mother wanted to attack me. Not that that's going to happen yet that I know of. Look at this. Poor Java. He really wants to taste the apple. And Brindle's like, no, this is my apple. Yeah. You want to get that apple, don't you? Oh, and she's taking it away. Oh, poor pup. Okay. Got to go check the boys. Well, the boys are both looking very well. How are you boys? And off they go. They're saying, leave us alone. This scrub plum. I love this scrub plum. It's so huge. And this plum grove. A lot of these trees are falling over there, sadly. Age is catching up with them. Now, let's see, here are the boys again. Hey! Definitely don't want to have anything to do with me. And there, they can't get through that gate because the lambs aren't close enough. And those are the ram lambs as well. Aren't close enough for them to feel they need to show their dominance. That's the important aspect. Anyway, all these plum trees.